Welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to undo the box of this Inventor Cool 8000 BTU portable air conditioner. I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to show you how to assemble it and I'm also going to review it. So let's get started. All I ask is one small favour before we get started. Hit the subscribe button down below and then I can carry on filming videos like this that are useful to yourselves and other people. It's free to do. Just hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. So the first thing I'm going to do is unbox this. So I'm going to put these straps off. This is quite a heavy box this. Put these straps off and the thought of a very good way of doing this, you can actually slide this up from the bottom. It's a really easy way to get this out of this box. And as you can see now, we have access to this unit. So we'll just slide this package out of the way. Remove everything from each side of it. Remove the plug. Construction is on back of this cardboard packet here. I'm just going to lift this unit out of this cardboard box. So one noticeable thing that's worth mentioning, this thing's actually on wheels. I wasn't actually sure about that. And it's a lot smaller when you get out of the box. And this is how easy it is to move around your home. But very light, very easy to manoeuvre. So before I assemble anything, I'll just show you around the unit. Have a quick look here. These are the, the gauges on the top of the dials. It's got a piece of tape on here, which I'm not sure is what for. I think it's just to stop these moving around in transit. But as always we'll read the instructions and this should give you some idea of the size of this actual unit. So in this box as I've said of the instructions and if you just slide out the end of this side here, actually pull up on this flap, you can see all the connecting pipes are actually in this box that are included. So let's take a look at what those are. So with these parts removed from the box you can see I've actually got four parts to connect together. These two parts came assembled together, I've just taken them off for the purpose of the video. So I've got this heat removal pipe and the other connector pipes. This one which is the one that goes onto the back of the unit and this is one for venting outside. So everything that you've got here is what you see. I've got an instruction manual, a drainage pipe, a clip and a screw to connect it together. I've even got some batteries for the remote control which is a nice touch. The energy rating which is A and some warranty information and also some environmental information and I think what looks like a service sticker. And if you look in the description down below here, you'll see an actual link to this exact model of air conditioning unit, which is available to buy at rock bottom prices. Take a look at that description and you will see exactly where to buy this. So the first thing the instructions tell us to do is just connect this drainage clip here. We're going to do that using this connector here and this screw. And we're just going to screw that in this little hole here. So before we start, we'll just push this screw here through the connector. And then we'll simply pop this in here like that. Just wants to be horizontal as well, so this drainage pipe can actually go through. So there we are, it's as simple as that. Now the instructions say, remove this rubber bung from this pot here. So we'll do that. That exposes this drainage pipe as you can see here. Now we need to install this drainage pipe. You can see here one end's blocked off already. It actually has this uh, pipe connector here. So what we'll do, first of all, is we'll just slide the new one on, which comes in the packet with the screw. We'll just slide that one on there as you can see. Move that down there. We'll just pop this one on a little bit and push this on here. Make sure this is right to the back as well, so you're not going to get any leaks. As you can see, that's nice and snug on there. And we'll just slide this connector up here, make sure it's all tight. And all we need to do is just tuck this drainage hose into this connector here. Make sure it's pointing as good as it's not going to drag down. You're not going to have any unnecessary spillage on the floor. And it's all clipped up nice and tight. So the next stage of assembly is just to connect these heat discharges together. You can see there's actually some threads on here and it actually fits on these parts here. Now what you need to do is just start to gently one by one just start pulling these apart until you've got a few threads exposed that you can actually screw these onto. And we'll just twist this onto these threads here as you can see making sure it's nice and secure so if you to kind of pull it a bit more making sure this top bit doesn't come off that's how you know this is threaded correctly. We'll do the same at the other end here with the other part of this discharge pipe. So this connector here is actually the one that sits on the back of this unit. This actually goes on the back and slides down which I'll show you in a minute and this end obviously just twists onto here onto these threads and we'll just put that on securely and we'll carry on with this process. So now our both ends of this connected. I've not pulled this pipe out any further. Both nice and lock solid on here as you can see. And this end which is here, this one goes on the back of the machine as I've said and this end if you were venting it out through a wall you could use that but it actually comes with this adapter as well depending on where you want to vent this out to so if you're using a, a standard window you could perhaps use this one instead 
all you do to fit this on is there's a couple of little notches on here just put this top part on here press down, twist and it clicks in like that and that's how you know this part's assembled correctly just so you know what I'm planning to do is actually vent it out of this window I'm actually going to open this small window and make myself like a sealed little unit and actually just vent it out of there so let's connect this pipe to the back of this unit here all I'm going to do is slide it down this little channel here one thing to note it does have actually top written on it so you can slide it down here you can see where it says top and there's a reason for that this plastic actually gets thinner towards the bottom so you're inserting the thinnest edge first as you can see that it just slides in and I'll just slide that down to the bottom till it clicks it says top on there as you can see and that's nice and secure and this hose is all nicely collected as well so with the hose fully extended now you can see it's actually quite a long hose this I would suggest it was around three meters long so I'm going to turn this machine on and I'm going to see if it actually cools me down one thing to note as I go through these videos is the actual video camera I'm using picks up a lot of this noise and I've just noticed as I filmed the first clip how loud it sounds if you reduce that noise by about 70% it's somewhere near it's certainly a manageable noise but on the clips that you're about to see you will notice that it sounds very very loud that's not the case it's actually quite a smooth sound when you get this unit and um, nothing to certainly put you off by any unit like this anyway um, I, would, I would say on a scale of how much it would annoy me if it sat on the corner it would probably be a 2 or a 3 and for the benefit of the air conditioning it's well worth it so just one thing to note the actual sound that you're hearing is a little bit distorted as I'm just using my video camera and, and it's not actually a really good representation of what this unit sounds like it's much much quieter so I've just vented that up there for now as you can see I'm just going to turn this unit on and we'll see what we get okay there's a plus and a minus because I would imagine that minus is as cold as it can get so let's turn that down to 16 let's have a look around here this is how noisy this machine is yeah there's a bit of noise but I'll tell you what I can feel the cold it's really really cold coming out of there and it's very powerful even stood even stood even stood right back here I can feel just how powerful that air is it's cold coming out of there certainly not an annoying noise but I think one thing to remember is it's actually an air conditioner it's not an air cooler or a fan it's actually conditioning this air to be cold which is doing superbly well that's lovely and cold I'm just going to leave this unit running for 5 or 10 minutes I'm going to come back in and film a little bit more and I'm just going to tell you what the temperature of this room actually feels like compared to 5 minutes before Although there's a bit of noise, probably won't want to sleep with that on. But I can definitely feel this is doing a great job already. So after playing around with the settings for this inventor, I can actually tell you that I found the best mode for this. There's actually cool mode, dry mode and fan mode. The best way to operate this is to turn the unit on here and press mode until the first green button lights up and then press the minus key here until you get down to 16. That's the way you get this the colder. So we'll do that now. Turn this on. I think the default setting was somewhere like 25 up here. So the mode button scrolls through these three options here. Mode, so press it once, it's cool, dry and fan. If you want air conditioning you want it on this cool mode here. You can see this temperature goes up and down. Well when I turned it on at first it was on 25. So put it on this mode here, cool, and turn this all the way down to 16 and I will tell you now this machine is absolutely fantastic for cooling you down. The cold air that this thing is blowing out is quite remarkable for something so small. You can actually adjust the direction of the air as well as you would on a car air vent with this which goes up and down and also this little adjuster which takes you left and right as well so you can have any setting you like with that. You can actually adjust the speed of the fan here, you can see there's a little black notch there which turns the fan on to number one if you're trying to sleep perhaps press it again it beeps listen to the fan it goes up a notch I'll press it again the fan will get louder and again you can really hear the difference between that so it's very customizable there's a timer option on there for turning this off as well if you're falling asleep and you want to fall off uh, to sleep and leave it going it turn itself off in the middle of the night you could do that also. So I've just tested this air conditioner in this hot room for 
around about an hour now and myself and other people have walked in and out of this room have said wow it's freezing cold in here it's absolutely fantastic um, just build it as I've said turn it on make sure the fans on the full speed make sure it's on the cool setting and turn the temperature down to 16 and just leave it and I promise you the room will cool down absolutely fantastic um, it's normally absolutely boiling in here the sun is actually right outside here all day in summer it comes right up the back of the house and right up into the bedrooms with the uh, kids bedrooms at the back and it's done a fantastic job of cooling this room down I'm going to install this upstairs in my house now so I ask one thing and one thing only please hit like and hit the subscribe button as well that's the reason for making these videos and I can do a lot more videos like this to help other people out it's free to do so please do hit subscribe thanks for watching check out some of my other videos on this channel as well and I'll see you shortly